hearing before this, which is perceived but as an attack on small business buying? Ken, we want to be clear. We want to encourage small businesses to invest in their business. We have the lowest small business tax rate in G7 countries. Uh, that encourages people not only to start a small business, but to reinvest in that small business. We want to maintain that advantage over the long term. That's critical. Uh, this is about making sure that the next generation of Canadians and the generation after that have a tax system that creates opportunities for them and not uh, you know, unfair advantages for a small subset that's growing, by the way. We have a growing number of people that are incorporating uh, and taking some advantage that uh, wasn't originally intended to be uh, there for them. We are out consulting with Canadians, and what I heard this morning was, uh, was largely consistent. People do want to have a system that, that works for the long term. They want to have a system that encourages investment in small business. They don't want to have a system that uh, creates you know, inequities and uh, gives advantage to some that aren't there to others. Uh, the Liberals have successfully combined in one single policy, the, making it more difficult to get a family doctor, making it more difficult for young people to find their first jobs, and making it more difficult for middle class families to save for their futures. And that is why Conservatives are calling for the government to back down from this tax increase and to immediately uh, bring forward uh, hearings here in the parliamentary pre precinct uh, in, uh, in order for people to have their voices heard.